Hey guys, and what's going on? This is Invader here, and I'm bringing you yet another video. I've got a few things I want to include here, as there's some things I want to discuss with my subscribers, along with what games and content I'm looking forward to in the coming weeks, months, and year overall. So let's get into it, as there's plenty to discuss. First off, this is the 4th anniversary of my channel since releasing my very first video back in September 2015. Man, that feels like ages ago now, and honestly, I didn't think that I'd still be doing this. It's been a lot of fun talking about games and uploading gameplay and just talking about gaming industry related stuff, and I'm just very grateful to the people that continue to watch my content listen to me, comment on games and industry topics, and whatever there may be, really. I really appreciate the love that people show my channel, whether they be longtime fans or recent subscribers. So a massive, massive thank you to everyone uh, to getting me to this point. I definitely have no plans on leaving content creation anytime soon, so thank you for being there and a part of my journey so far. However, while saying that, over the past few months I've done some evaluating on what I'd like to do for my channel, so a few updates on that matter. YouTube isn't a full-time job for me, so it's hard to dedicate time to certain things, not to mention my role on the TXR podcast. Managing two YouTube channels and all, while it's fun and I enjoy doing it, it also affects what I can do at a given time. Also, guesting on community channels takes a chunk out of whatever time I have to myself for content creation. Don't get me wrong, I really enjoy doing that, but it eats into what free time I have. So going forward, I'm going to be cutting down on the amount of videos I upload. Don't worry, you'll still get content from me, it's just I won't be uploading as often as I'd really like to. I'll definitely be cutting down on the amount of gameplay playthrough videos I do, and while I do really enjoy doing those, I just can't sustain doing them at this very moment. Moving on, and if I'm to be really honest, YouTube itself hasn't been great for when it comes to content creation or the creators. I remember back in, well, around 2009, 2010, it was like the Wild West, all kinds of content on there. It used to be about small content creators and just broadcasting yourself. Now YouTube seems to just be in favor of big corporations, big outlets, and it's such a shame, it's such a reversal of how it was before. Not only that, but you have to be extremely careful about what you say these days. Mention certain topics or people and your videos will get flagged for some silly algorithmic reason. Oh man, I just said something different from the status quo gaming channels. There must be something wrong there. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Deplatformed. And meanwhile, certain outlets put out reviews for games without actually finishing games and have really lazy hot takes on industry topics. So, I mean, in my opinion, it's just not fair. So while I'm still going to be quite active on here, as this is the most prominent video sharing platform, I can't help but support alt tech, sites like BitChute and Minds. To all the content creators out there, either new or seasoned, I implore you to start branching yourselves out onto other sites. If you get blacklisted by YouTube, get claims or strikes, you'll suddenly be stuck in an unfavorable position. So back up your content on other video platforms. Believe me, it's worth it. For example, I've been on BitChute for over a year now, and I have just about 12,000 views. And really, I didn't even have to do anything. I just link my YouTube account to BitChute, and it just transfers the video over. So it's just easy as that. So what should you look forward to on my channel going forward? Well, I'm currently working on another episode of The Space Lounge. I won't give away which game it is, but it has a pretty killer soundtrack, I'll say that. Otherwise, I've got some game commentary ideas floating around that I've been wanting to do for a while. There's also something, uh, there's always something to comment on the gaming industry. There will also be more reviews coming. Currently, I'm working through a review for Damon X Machina for the Nintendo Switch, and I'm looking forward to releasing that soon. 
overall, I'm just trying to fine tune my content, and really, that's what every content creator goes through over the course of their channels. It's just a normal thing. At this point, I'd like to give a huge shout out to a few groups filled with some pretty awesome people. Of course, I'm gonna be starting off this list with the TXR podcast crew, Tim Dog, Southbound, Megatron, and of course our newest editions of Centurion and Shock. I'm really happy to be a part of this group. I love talking games with these guys who are definitely passionate about the hobby. We've got some really cool stuff in the works for the show, so stay tuned in the coming weeks. Obviously, as a lot has changed since last year on the podcast scene, at this point last year I was a part of the Game Dosage podcast. It's a real shame we couldn't continue with that, as I did have a great time with Noof Nukem and just the rest of the gang, but sometimes the things that you enjoy don't last for as long as you want them to. Maybe one day we can revive it. Of course, I have to give a big shout out to the Daz cast and all the wonderful guys and gal in there. They've been really supportive of me, and I really couldn't ask for a better group of friends. And I would definitely share a beer or two with them on any day of the week. They're, they're just fantastic. Speaking of Daz, I'd like to send a special shout out his way. He really does support everybody. That's why he's been everybody's chat moderator and then some. Just a very cool down-to-earth guy. I've got a little something here dedicated to him. I'll most likely get a claim of some sort for this video, but for now, meh. I guess I'll take it in this one. Drum roll, please. Got, got on my leather jacket killer, the show ain't not the killer. Man, I'm a lady killer, if I want her, I'm a stiller. I promise I could make her fly away like caterpillars. So if you don't know by now, then you should probably get familiar. My, my leather jacket killer, the show ain't not the killer. Man, I'm a lady killer, if I want her, I'm a stiller. I promise I could make her fly away like caterpillars. So if you don't know by now, then you should probably get familiar. Get familiar, get familiar, get familiar, get familiar. Uh, sorry guys, it's hard to keep a straight face after that one. Uh, good stuff, Daz. Alright, moving along here, uh, next group. <laughs> of course, I can't leave my pals over at the Retro Renegades out of the mix. People like Supersonic Station, <coughs> Yoshida, <coughs> J-Dubs the Graphic God, Crispy, Jago Stinky, all really fine guys to just chat and talk games with. Nothing ever too serious, just a fun time, and you know what? You need that these days. I also have to mention the classy guys over at NLG, Stinger, Fastback, HTK, you've got a very well-spoken group of, group of dedicated gamers talking about gaming news, I love your interviews, love your chats, definitely check out their content if you haven't already, very very classy group of fellas there. There's also Mr. Boomstick XL. The man continues to evolve his channel and bring a different take to gaming conversations. I appreciate what he's doing with the different cast of people on, on his shows, discussing interesting topics, and just trying to be a positive force in the gaming community. Lord knows we've seen plenty of detouring over the past year. So yeah, Boom is definitely a breath of fresh air on YouTube, and I always look forward to seeing his different shows. RDX is another group that I really enjoy their content. Interesting chats, lively debates, and really a great ensemble of gamers, including TXR's own Tim Dog. Dealer Gaming does a really amazing job of being host, and my interactions with him have been nothing but positive. He's helped out other smaller content creators along the way, and I just really respect what he's done with his channel over the last couple of years. The man is definitely passionate about gaming, he loves his game, so, you know, definitely hit Dealer up and check out his show. Obviously, there's so many people that I want to thank and appreciate, whether you be fellow community commentators or are a follower of my content. Either way, I just want to say a big thank you for supporting my content and journey moving forward. Another thing I want to touch on is flip-flopping. Certain groups having just sudden epiphanies on their preferred platforms and then foaming at the mouth ready to pounce on them. And then you see other channels just disengaging from their audiences and go on rants on 
what was once their preferred gaming platforms. Panel members branching off and attacking one another. Guys, it makes no sense for content creators to attack one another. We're all in the same boat here. You know, focus on different topics. Stop attacking one another and just game. I mean, sure, we can go on rants here and there, but it gets old real fast. And from a listener perspective, it looks really contrived and fake. All to get those juicy clicks. Sure, I'm an Xbox guy. That's my preferred place to play. However, I know that my Nintendo Switch has some really killer exclusive games, uh, some with the PlayStation 4, and of course, the PC. Every system has their pros and cons, and we can all just talk about them. It's just so weird when you see the flip-flopping. It's almost like seeing a conversion take place. I mean, sure, you can change your stances and positions on things. We all have those at times. But it's definitely not overnight. From certain perspectives, it just screams clickbait and honestly a bit low tier in my opinion. And for the record, this is not a shot at anyone in particular, but over time I've just been seeing it more on different spaces and I want to comment on it as it really does stick out like a sore thumb online. Moving along, instead of making a separate video on this, I'll end off with a few games and other pieces of content that I'm looking forward to within the next year. Some are just around the corner and others towards the end of the year. A lot of it's full games while others are like DLC to games. Really, there's all kinds of awesome looking content coming forward within the next year. Heck, I'm probably missing some in here from my mental checklist, but I'm quite pleased with what I've listed off. Without further ado, here are the games that I'm looking forward to. <laughs>
that about does it for this video, but before I head off, I'm just curious why do you guys follow certain content creators? What channels do you guys really enjoy following? Also, are there any soundtracks for the Space Lounge that you'd like me to check out? Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you happen to enjoy my content, then please share this content out and give it a like and let all your friends and family members know about Invader. Everybody needs a little invasion in their lives, right? <laughs> and every Sunday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, you can listen to me and an awesome bunch of gamers on the TXR podcast. Thanks for watching, everyone. Invader, out. Yeah, I'm not